Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker Heap. In this video, we will look into solving the problem cheapest flights with K stops. Before we start, please do subscribe to the channel Hacker Heap and like this video. Let's read the problem. So there are n cities connected M flights. Each flight starts from city U and arrives at V with a price W. Now given all the cities and flights together with starting city source and the destination destination, your task is to find the cheapest price from source to destination with up to k stops. There can be up to k stops. If there is no such route exists, written the output minus 1. So given this example, there are three cities 0, 1 and 2. The cost of going from 0 to 1 is $100 and cost of going from 0 to 2 directly is 500 and the cost of going from 1 to 2 is $100. The maximum number stops that can have is 1. So we can go from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 which would cost $200 which is less than the $500. So that would be the shortest path with a minimum cost with the cheapest flight. So how do we do it? Uh, this is an application of uh, Dijkstra's algorithm where you need to find the shortest uh, path with minimum weight. So how do we do it? For the given input, the first thing we need to do is build this graph. How do we do it is uh, we will have a map where the key is the city and it will have the array, list of arrays holding all the cities that is flowing through. So for zero, it will have two and the cost of it flowing to two and cost of it and one and the cost of flowing to it. And for one, it will have one and the cost of flying to it. So now once we will build the graph, all we need to do is use a priority queue. In priority queue, what we will do is we will sort it out based on the minimum cost so that we will have the minimum cost uh, at the tail of the queue. So every time we pull it, we will have the minimum cost. Every time we pull the node, we will see if that is the destination. If that is the destination, we would just return the cost of it. If not, what, what we would do is we will add the next stops to it. So we will find all the next stops. Let's say we got zero and the next stops are two and one. We will add it to the queue. Basically, we will add a node with uh, 2, 500 and the stop 1, node of 100 and stop is 1. So we will add it to that and when we came to this, uh, we will find 500 but the priority queue is sorted based on the cost, uh, incrementing cost. So we will be having it at the end of it. Now once we had 100, the cost of the first node, we will find the next stop uh, for 1 which is uh, 2. We will insert that again that will have node and 2 comma 200 comma there are no next nodes it will be minus 1 so we will have that inserted now that comes here when we pull this out we will check if this is the destination if so we would just return the cost of it or else if you don't find any destination we would just return minus 1 so let's go ahead and code this out so the first thing we need to check is if flights.length is equal to 0, we would just return minus 1 because there won't be any destination. Now what we need to do is we need to build a graph. We will use a hash map to build it. All, all the destinations that it flies directly. Graph is equal to new. Now we got the graph, we'll pass through all the flights, int flight of flights, if not of graph dot contains key of flight of zero, if we didn't add at that city at all so we will go ahead and what we do is we will add it to the graph graph dot put off flight of zero comma new array list of int it's good if there already exists what we do is graph dot put off 
flight of zero comma we need to create a new array so we need to get the empty array list we created here and add the destinations the non-stop destinations to that list basically this is get dot add of new end of flight of one flight of two so now we created a graph which will be similar to this so now we know what are the direct flights that are flowing from so origin zero and we know what are the flights flowing from one and if there are none flowing from two so that will be the empty now we build the graph we need to find the cost of flying from one origin to other destination so that we can get up uh, come up with a minimum cost to fly from origin to destination for this as i said we will be using dijkstra's we will be using a priority queue we will where we will have the queue sorted based on the cost of flying from origin to destination let's go ahead and uh, define that priority queue already queue which holds in node we will define the class node basically let's go ahead and define the class node class node which will have int city int cost and int stop which will hold the number of stops node of int city cost int stop we had this this dot city is equal to city this dot cost cost this dot stop is equal to stop so we had this node ready so q new priority q of node as you said we will have a comparator based on the cost Come up B dot cost minus B dot cost. So now the Q holds based on the price, based on the cost. Now we will add a base value to the Q. New node of new node of basically I will add source. Source the cost of flying to source and the stops are minus one because we are not flying anywhere while not q dot is empty if okay, we will pull the current node from q dot pull if her dot city is equal to destination all we need to do is return the cost of it that's it now if it's not the current city we need to check if cur dot stop is less than k or not because we don't want to add it to the queue if this uh, if there are already k stops and it's not the destination so how do we add the next stops we will get it from the graph we already built if we will get the next stops for this particular current stop so that is the list of arrays next to the graph dot get of cur dot city get our default let's say for two there won't be any destinations so we will add that here new list of int yeah. now we got the next for each next we will add it to the queue we will create a new node increment the cost and increment the stops and we will add it to the queue for int next next let's go ahead and add it to the queue add of new node of 
next dot city sorry the city would be next of zero which would be the city and we will add the cost as current dot cost plus next of one comma current dot stop plus one right let's say if it doesn't find any destination all we need to do is return minus one so that is it so the further given input 0 100 1 200 and 0 to 500 we need to build a graph from this so 0 is the source 1 is the destination and this is the cost for flying to that destination so what we are doing we are building a map which will hold the source 0 in the first case and we are adding uh, to the list where it costs uh, 1 come 100 and again when 0 comes we will also add 2 comma 500 and for 1 we will add 2 comma 100 and for 2 we will add an empty list so that is the graph we will be building which will eventually come down to this 0 1 2 and it's a directed graph this is 100 100 and 500 now we have this graph what we are doing is we are initializing a priority queue which will be based on the cost so the minimum cost will be at the end of the queue now we are adding a source with cost zero so this will hold the node will have the source is zero zero and the cost is zero so it will have this we will pull this current node uh, for the first iteration current node is zero and the current node cost uh, and the stop is uh, less than k so what we are doing is uh, we are getting all the next stops so we will get 1 comma 100 and 2 comma 500 now what we are doing is we are adding them to the queue back to the queue so that will go here as 1 comma 100 and 2 comma 500 so now this is out of the queue next time when the loop comes in we are pulling 1 comma 100 now we are pushing back to the queue with incrementing the cost so this will have 2 comma 200 and this will have 2 comma 500 as it is that doesn't change so when we pull this out we know the current city is equal to destination so we are returning the cost if it comes out of the loop that means we didn't find any path and uh, the cost we will return minus one so let's go ahead and uh, run this out there is an error Wait. oh yeah went through i hope it's clear please do like and subscribe to the channel hacker Heap for more data structure and algorithm problems thank you